Hello everyone, this is Pastor Lon. I want to welcome you all back to the channel today for some Island Time devotion. I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a Happy New Year coming up in just a few more days. But today, let's look into God's Word together. Matthew chapter 7, verses 20 and 21. Jesus said in red, red letters, Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Wherefore, we're known by our fruits. If you've been born again, everybody will know it. You won't be able to hide it. You shouldn't want to hide it. If you've been changed on the inside, it'll show up on the outside. In the way, in our good deeds, in the way we look, in the way we act, in the way we talk, everything about us will change because the Bible says, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. He gives you a brand new outlook on life when you become born again. He says, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, is going to enter into the kingdom of God. There's a lot of people today that are playing around with their salvation. They're living out this modern day Christianity. That won't get you to heaven. That won't save your soul. The Bible says in John's writing, I think it's John chapter 3, maybe verse 3, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. By our fruits, we are known by the way we have love one for another, by the way we treat our neighbor, the way we want to be treated. If you've been born again, the Spirit of God will teach a man how to love and treat his wife. If you've been born again, it'll, it'll teach a woman how to love and treat her husband. It'll teach the husband and wife how to raise those children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. If you've been born again, the fruit is you will be able to prefer others before yourself. You'll be able to Pray for that person that despitefully uses you and say all kind of manner of evil against you. The Bible says we will be persecuted for his name's sake. So why should it catch us off guard or, or cause us to wonder why we're being persecuted, why we're being talk, attacked and talked about? Because the Bible says we would, just like they done Jesus back in his day. If you've been born again, they'll be able to look at the fruit that you're bearing and be able to tell that you're a child of the king. That first of all, you love God more than anything in this world. And you want to make heaven your home. You also love your family. And you love your neighbors. And you love those enemies that despitefully use you and persecute you for his name's sake. So just remember, we're known by our fruit. Now I ask you today, what kind of fruit are you bearing? See, there's a lot of people today that... That, that verse 21 is going to affect a lot of people. It says, Not everyone that saith, Lord, Lord, is going to enter into the kingdom of God, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So we need to pray one for another, that God will lead us and guide us in the right way. But if you've been born again, your light should be shining. If you've been born again, we should be salt and light in this world we're living in today. He said we'd be known by our fruit. Salt adds flavor to the food. Our lives should add flavor to society and to the culture and to the world today. We should let our light shine amongst men. Amen. That, and we should lift up the name of Jesus. He said, if you lift him up, he'll draw all mankind unto him. But we must be born again. And if you've been born again, the evidence will be the fruit that you're bearing right here on earth. There's so many people today that are claiming Christianity and I'm not their judge. People say you don't have the right to judge, but according to the gospel, we can make a righteous judgment. You can tell if an apple tree is an apple tree because it's got apples hanging on it. You can tell if an orange tree is an orange tree because it's got oranges and lemons the same way, and whatever other fruit. Well, guess what? It's no different with us as believers. We are known by our fruit. Just because you go to church, just because you preach, just because you pay tithes and offering, that won't get you to heaven. You must be born again. If you've been born again, everybody around you will know that you've been born again. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You don't light a candle and put it under, put it under a bushel. You put it up on a candlestick where it gives light to everybody in the house. If you've been born again, if we've been born again, we should be leading and guiding by example as we are led by the example of God's spirit and God's only begotten son, Jesus Christ. What kind of fruit are you bearing today? Can people tell that you've been born again? Or are you going to be one of those that when you stand before him, he's going to tell you, I never knew you. You're workers of iniquity. Depart from me. And hell will be your final destination. But if you've been, really been born again and you're bearing good fruit, 
He'll say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter into the glories of God. What's it going to be? Good fruit or bad fruit? The choice is ours. I hope you're bearing good fruit because you are known by your fruit, just like God said. I love and appreciate you. Leave your prayer requests, your comments below, your praise reports below, and we'll be praying about those uh, prayer requests. And uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I thank you for this allotted time you allow me to share the gospel to break the bread of life. God, I pray, God, they would all realize that we're going to be known by our fruit. We're going to be known by our generosity. We're going to be known by the way we treat others as we've been born again. You have forgiven us, so we have no choice to forgive those who've wronged us in our life here on earth. Father, help us to let our light shine in this lost and dying world that they can see the way to come to you. Help us to be salt in this world today in the lives of people we come in contact with that we could have add flavor to their life, not because of who we are, but because who we belong to and who lives inside of us by the fruit that we're bearing. Father, I pray for the lost to be saved, to save to be, con to save to be encouraged, oh God, and that we can make this world a better place for the time you've allowed us to be here upon it. And then one day you would tell us all those faithful words we want to hear. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the glories of God. Father, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, y'all remember, Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ is the answer for any and everything we're dealing with in life. I love you all. Let's go bear some good fruit.